creep show. A demented old man returning from the grave to get his father's his cake, his murdered daughter never gave him. I told you before, I don't want you to read this crap. I never saw such rotten crap in my life. Where do you go to get this shit? Who sells it to you? I'm talking to you, young man. Answer me when I talk to you. You remember who put the bread on the damn table round her here? Don't be too hard on him. All the kids read them. My boy isn't all the kids. Do you want to know where this is going? Right into the garbage. You got any smart mouth about that? I don't see how it's any worse than the books you kept in your dresser. The ones under the, your underwear. The sex books. Don't have You didn't have to hit him. Not only did I, do I find out he's reading this crap, but he's a little snoop as well. He wasn't like that. You asked him to get that, your, your cufflinks. It was a, on a Sunday. I'll go and get close and close the window before the rain gets in. I'll do it and got some garbage I want to throw away. Daddy, please don't throw it away. I'm sorry. Next time I find you a worthless piece of a shit like this again, you won't sit down for a week. You remember that? Tuck in. That takes care of that. Stan, did you think you were a little hard on him? Did you see that crap? All that horror crap? Things coming out of crates and eating people? Dead people coming back to life? People turning into weeds? Yes, I did, but do you want his reading that, him reading that stuff? Well, no, but all right then. I took care of it. That's why God made fathers, babe. That's why God made fathers. I hope you rot in hell. Do you really think he'll be, she'll be out? Of course she will, Richard. You know that? You can't get set. You can set your watch by her. Pass your those scones, Case. You're such a pog. You married a great hog, Henry. Then I suppose you know the what about that, don't you? Our case was always had such an extremely healthy appetite. Who's coming out? Case? I mean, Case hasn't told you about the dirty, dirty old great Aunt Belia Lisa, patron of our clan. Isn't she the one who stopped to have, supposed to have, supposed to have murdered her father? Yes, Belin Linda is my aunt, which means that she is Richard and Casey's great aunt, which also means that she's older than God. Her father, Na- her father Nathan, had been, was even older. That means that you're all, all a bunch of dirty vultures. Just wait to get your hands on my money. He's hysterically jealous of Ben Melina. All his life, a couple, complete fruit Freudian relationship. Then, then there was, when he was a uh, then, when he was about 184, he had a stroke. And lucky Belinda, she got to nurse his full time. Then she met a fella, yes sir, real September courtship. September courtship? That's October or November. Uh, at the very latest, each he was 75. Oh, but it's never mind, my dear. I think he's been in and loved her, fa- her rather elderly beau and her hu- husband and her own father had him married. Yobo was a man, the guy's name, was supposed to die in a hunting accident. That's what went on the books anyway for Belinda. It was the last straw. She bashed her father's head in with a marvellous ash tree, so rumour has it. Well, however it happened, it was good riddance. So it was extremely bad rubbish. And my lovely niece, my husband, and my husband and nephew have very good reasons for being pleased. My old nephew's death, there's no trouble about the will. Share and share alike. And now, every Father's Day, every single Father's Day since his death, for seven long years, she returns to his house. The scene of the crime. Is that? Is that? Oh, yes. You almost set your watch by her. Screech to a halt. As they say, do you think she really did it? Oh yes, I know she did. But Linda was always very unstable. When she was much younger, after the death of a grand gentleman friend, she grew steadily worse. Why Father's Day? Because that was the day of the tragedy. 
She was overwhelmed with her own guilt. She'll, she'll go to her father's grave and meditate for about an hour. Then come inside and we'll sit down to a nice baked ham dinner. The three of us. Oh, I'm sorry, Henry. The four of us. Who now, who now own her so much? I want my cake. Where's my cake, Belinda? Where's my father's day cake? I want my cake, you dirty bitch. I'm going to have it. It's father's day. Where's my cake? You promised me uh, your cake, my cake. I'm your father and you're supposed to be taking care of me. I, didn't, I don't hear you. I said, I don't hear you, you bitch. What do you think I've got you here for? You're just like all the others. You're nothing but a bunch of vultures. I want my cake, Belinda. Where's my Father's Day cake? Happy Father's Day. Happy Father's Day. I don't know. I had to be it in me. Yeah, I'm your daughter, right? Your bootlegger. Killer, murderer, ungrateful bastard. You shouldn't have killed Leobo. He is a man, a real man. Everything I wanted, you wanted from me. You stupid bastard. You screwed it all up. You screwed up my mother. You screwed me up. Screwed me up. You only went, you got me so mad, you drove me so crazy. I want my cake, Belinda, you bitch. You called me a bitch. Silver fixed it all. Ashtray back in place. Chair overturned. A fool. Daddy, a bad fool. Nobody could catch us. Nobody. You taught us. You, me, you, you taught Sylvia. You taught us all. So there's peace all here. Where's my cake, Belinda? I want my cake. It's Father's Day, Belinda. I want my cake. Cass. Cass, turn that down. Turn it that down and you turn it down right now. Shall I glaze the ham now? No, Mrs. De- Denvers. You'll have to wait. Mr. G- Miss Grantham has not yet arrived. And sh- you will remember that today, very special day. Yes, madam. Isn't life grand, Mr. D- Mrs. D? I do hope she's all right. Sometimes she lost, loses track of time. Aunt Belinda? Miss Grantham. Are you uh, Are you around? Where's my cake? I want it. It's mine. Where is he, my dear? I shouldn't. I couldn't. Really couldn't say. I doubt if he's still out. Out of the out. At, I doubt if he's still out at the grave. Bob nobbing with your aunt Belinda, getting aside the story. It's bet. Well, I want him. I want. I want my dinner. I'm hungry. I'll get him then. You go, Richard. He's your husband. I don't even like it. Like him. I'll go and get him. After all. He's such a sweet boy. Miss Denvers? Miss Denvers? Miss Denvers? I want my cake. Where is she? And where the hell is her Hank? Go see Richard, please. Please. Look, my dolly sister. He's your... He's your hick husband. I mean, you go look for him. Richard, I'm scared. It's dark out there. I want some... More, more wine, okay? Please, Richard. All right. Come on. Come on. We're conserving energy. It's Father's Day. I want my cake. Holy Father's Day. Happy Father's Day. Holy Jesus. That's a meteor. It's been... It, it's it dipped in shit. If it isn't a meteor. I wonder how much they paid for it at the college. I wonder how much they paid for it. The college. Damn fine, Mrs. Vareville. About $50 sound. But not a cent. Le- less than 200 Seventy-five dollars? Two hundred. My mother didn't raise idiots. Keep on counting. Not a cent less than two hundred. My to your price. I can pay off my bank loan. That's a ticket. Got to call the son of rich off. You've done it now, Jody Varel. You p- knuckhead. Knuckhead? Knuckhead two hundred dollars for a broken media? Mr. Varel, you must be joking. The second story is about a not so bright farmer discovering a meteor that turns everything into plant life. I don't. I didn't. Get, I wouldn't give you two cents, Jerry Jerry Vell, you nunhead, nunkhead. The real luck always in. You spell that kind of luck. Bay A D. Shall I try to? I've got to try meteor shit. Maybe I can get glue it together. In the morning, Jesus Christ, I'm sorry, Mr. Vareil. Those fingers have got to come off. It's going to be extremely painful. Mr. Vareil, Jody Vareil, you knuckle- knucklehead. 
Boy, isn't don't it itch? Well, that's real luck, all right. Always in, always bad. But there's a difference between dreaming and doing. A dream is just sit and the moon. Whoop, whoop, about how wonderful it would be. But if things were different, and the years roll on and they grow old, by and by they forget everything, even about their dreams. I don't want to be like that. I want to be somebody. Anybody that everyone laughed at us, as he did at all the other part. They said America would never do be anything but a wilderness. They didn't believe that we were going to make a new country. Besides, we wanted to see our dreams come true. Grandma, it must have been wonderful. It, it was. Don't you think that one single minute it was easy? We burned in the summer and we froze in the winter. We kept on going and didn't complain because we were doing what we wanted to do. Can you understand that? No, no. There you are, you sucker. I knew you were in there someplace. Our next program, that's, that be their light. May, uh, may you, may you have made that great breakthrough. One great step, the faith decision. I need that. You then said, my troubles are over. Not true. Look up. Right, lift up your, up, lift up your head. Let's see, be confident that this one thing, a God had begun. A good thing is you. We we'll complete it. Free recorded. I'm growing. Oh my God, what a dream. Oh no, but not there. Jody, Daddy, Jody, Jody. But you're dead. You might have been dead. Christ, three years almost. This isn't going to get into the tub, are you? It's the water that what it wants, Jody. You don't, you do, you know, don't you know that? You get it into water, Jody. The right as well sign your death warrant. Already, I've got them already, Daddy, don't I? I've got the stuff from one of that meteor on me. I'm gone, ain't I? Daddy, Daddy? Oh, better. Oh, that's much better. Now it's time for the farm report. Sponsored by Granger Farm Supply. Home of all your feed and farm supplies. Grain prices closed, having risen most of the session. Reaction to the positive export news. Please, please, God, please, God, let my luck be in. Just this once, please, God. Just this case once. And in today's weather, not much of the outdoor types, but you farmers are going to love this. The current 10 30 day forecast, released by the Monofrigal Staff station at Portland calls for moderating temperatures and lots of rain. Castle County is going to turn green so fast in the next month. It's going to be almost a miraculous Wentworth. All right, all right, Wentworth. All right, I'd said. I, I, that may work on TV, sister, mister, but I can't. I can bench 300 pounds. Give your foot out my door or you'll lose that ha- about half of it. Don't be call me mister you know damn well who i am let's not play any games get out of here listen to me carefully henry unless you let me in and talk to me something very nasty will happen to rebecca so nasty that, that your little mind you can barely conceive it but you'll find out all right becky and i were going to tell you about it pretty soon anyway some of these just cables on those cables are loose harry I'm surprised you didn't notice a change in the quality of your picture. You ought to be grateful to us. We have never loved her. If you ever loved her, you don't know. There won't be any enemy, a property settlement, problems. She just wants out. I don't know whether I can have ever loved her or not. Henry, don't just... That doesn't matter. The point is, I'll keep the, the mind no exception to the rule ever. No exceptions, Harry, never. What did you mean about when you said something nasty would happen? You really should like take better care of this equipment. Lease and main maintenance cartridge. Talk to me right now. Take your hat and hand off me. Right now, fine. I got something I want you to hear. Harry, he's got he's got me in. Please come, please. He's got me in. You don't come get close to please, Harry. Please come. I had to stop it there. I couldn't bear to record any more. What done done with her? Tell me, you son of a bitch, or I'll kill you. Kill me, and you'll never find her out. Now, don't get naughty. 
I thought if I fall down on this floor and hit my head on that my hard marble, I could fracture my skull. Fine with me. Then you'll never know. Believe me, Mr. True Love. You want to know. Because at eleven go this morning, it'll be too late. I love the ocean. Except when the tide is out. It, it was a kind of rotten smell. I just don't understand. What are you trying to pro- pro- prove? I'm not trying to prove anything. It may be on some subjects that I am not totally sane. Subject that is mar- what is mine. For example, I'm not sane at all. This is Comfort Point. I call my beach house Comfort Station. Is a is that camp or kitsch, Harry? That's stupid. That's unkind, Harry. Unkind. No, I can't well hold you it against you. Come on. Up this way, Harry. Maiden Fair is waiting for a night in the shiny corduroy. Come on. There's something I... There's something I think you might find interesting. You see that down there? Is that what? The burial mold of my lady fair. It could be. Notice how the water creeps in. Even when the tide is out, the water creeps in. I don't know what you think you're doing. This is that this has gone just about far enough. No Harry, not nearly far enough. Now, if you're thinking of becoming a hero, it's just that you should remember the fair lady fair jump into that hole. You'll force me to shoot you, Harry. Sorry. Good old boy, Harry. Now, Harry, I want you to kneel down and start pulling the sand into the hole. No way. Go ahead. Shoot me if you want to. You're not going to bury me alive. Not a bad idea. Not exactly what I had in mind, though. All I want you to do is incapacitate you. Then you'll see me. Then you'll see Betty. I don't believe you. I always keep my promises. I do have the gun. Don't I? Help. Yo, yeah, if, if all you want, Harry. Comfort Point is very private. I own it all. Help, 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 help. Nobody will hear you. Nobody will hear you anything. Now, do what I told you. Sort of like being buried in wet cement, huh? You can't move your arms. Don't have any leverage. Do go ahead. Try to move. I could really cover you and all the way up, couldn't I, Harry? I could see Harry all gone. No, no, no. I won't do that. Here, I let me get that out, that out of you. There you are. That's good. No, keep my promise. I keep my promise. Just get out. Get out of here, Jesus, Richard. Get out of here. Found a friend, Harry. I'm just wild about Harry. Come on, Richard. Get it. Get it out of here. He was just getting revenge for all of the relatives of his that you act, bait and stuffed him a uh, mansion. Bad fellow? I had you, bad fellow. Get away. Money. Look, I have money. I'll give you anything. Just get me out of this home. I have, I have something here. that will take your mind off it. It's showtime, Becky. Isn't it? This is a great video. I love this. Look at the quality of that picture. Someone. Buddy. Becky, Becky. She can't hear you, I'm sorry. She lost the coin toss. I had to bury her further down in the, in the beach. Couldn't even leave her a, a monitor. Would you uh, would you short, short it out by now? I know, that's the trick, you son of a bitch. It's some kind of special effects trick, isn't it? Just look at the VCR back there. I'm sorry, you can't turn your back head. Let me assure you that VCR is not on play. It's on record. I had to say this stuff. To you are a part of my home movies. We're insane. You won't be long now. Not long at all. Oh my god, you're insane. I kept my promise. You would see Becky again. Is that insane, you bastard? There's a chance you've got to, you can get out of this. A time might even set you free. Depends on how long you keep your cool and how long you can hold your breath. The water is so cold, so salty. You're underneath holding your breath, waiting for the wave. It's covering them. I go, go back out. So they, that you can snatch a quick breath before this next wave comes in. You'll have a chance, Harry. If you don't lose your head, it looks like they're losing her, hers. Oh God, no! Feel that hard your heart is beating, Harry. How fast? That'll make it hard. That'll make it harder for you. 
hold your breath. Oh, the tide is coming in. It's getting late, Harry. I have to be put along now. Wait, not but you enjoy the show. At least until the monitor revolts out. All right, come on and stop it. Sorry, Harry. I really cannot, can't stay. Come back here. Oh, my. Oh, God, Harry. Oh, my God. Richard. I'm going to get you. Do you hear me, Richard? Do you hear me, Richard? I'll get you. You have to hold your breath. You have to hold your breath. The current pulled him out. That, that's what happened. The current pulled him out. He's gone, Richard. Now, let's see where where it is. It was a damn maid that had been moving my stuff again. I swear it. Oh, Richard, the undertone has carried them away. It's saved me the trouble. Come out of it. No need to get jumpy. That's all. They're all gone. Blub, blubbish. Who's out there? Wentworth. Is that you, Wentworth? May I remind you, dear boy? I know the go. I have a gun. Wentworth, I suggest you get out of here. Or I'll shoot you. Play a warning, Wentworth. I'll shoot you dead. Get out of here, Wentworth. You can can't shoot us dead, Richard. Because we're already dead. We see, Richard. We see you, Richard. We see you, Richard. We see you, Richard. We see you, Richard. We dug a hole for you, Richard. On the beach below the high tide line. Here we we are we're close. It's showtime. Here we come, Richard. Let's go to the back. We want you to come close to the beach. Come with us. Come down to the beach. It, if you don't panic, you, if you can hold your breath, if you can... Even, if you can Hold your breath. If you can hold your breath, you can hold your breath, and I can hold my breath. I can hold my breath for a long time. Look at that. What's the devil? Betsa, you're such a child. Now, you and Henry are both some, such children. But the lot of Lisa Henry carries me to take care of him. Don't you, dear, to have Tabby Richard? I'd like to, you to meet Dexter Stanley, our distinguished professor in the sociology department. They're both new here. In the, uh, the math department? What? How do you do? What a lovely name you have. And she's Tabitha. Pleasure to meet you, Professor Stanley. Just Dex will do. This is Henry, the number one woman. Nook up. They call me Billy. Everyone does. And they need anyone to show you the ropes turn on. You come see me. I know all the best stories. Nice to meet you. Are you buying or renting? We're renting at the moment. We want it just as well. Buying real estate is a real in a college town is a pain in the arse. To my word for it. Henry is in the price in the English department. And remember, I just take care of Henry. Believe he hit me, he needs it. Do you ever meet a man who didn't? You're not drinking, actually. He's just got there here. Well, we can take care of that. Just come with me. Stay here until I get back. As people are dry, take care of them. They don't know what they're doing. If Dexter's house, I had this chief cat. He'd been out of his, on his arse years ago. So when Parker told me, well, I told I was out of line. I told him he ought to get laid. Parker, I said, you don't have your ashes hold. You won't have to spe- spend all this time playing Emily Rodderbolt or Emily Bern- Van Herden, whatever the rest of the is. Excuse me? I don't know why you keep inviting her. What about tonight? Maybe we could get to it tonight. This would be That would be great. All right. I'll call you. I'll call you. Show about it. I gather you'll be available for for these night, for chess night. Henry, I've just been reaching a point where, pardon my me, would one of you in the be Professor Stanley? Yes, I am. It was a telephone call for you. All right, thank you. Probably be Charlie again with his damn ears, mates. They get the you'll get the double prize before he's twenty, especially if he's working. Working at the Amber Anderson Hall in August. No, he's downstairs. It's cooler. Yeah, sure. I'll succumb tonight. Well, thanks. 
Hey, what are, what are your friends for? Just call me Billy. Everyone does. I thought I could call you any, anywhere. A anyway, like you. What? See what you thought? Did Charlie tell me you, you I was here? Yeah, I went to him as a ham for a hamburger. I went to sit had his sister. The kids don't know it's night or day when he comes along. Yes, he's very dedicated, willing to bet that that crate is full of natural graphics of bad, bad issues of Reader's Digest. A date that it said 19, 1844. Did they publish a Reader's Digest way back then? Yes, it stands right on the side. June 19th, 1834. Then something about an Arctic expedition. There, must, there may be something more interesting in their crate when periodicals after all, because everyone in the department is looking for what the knife in you. I moan. I mean, some of the, these are so-called academics make the shark in jaws look like the flipping flipper. Wilma, your husband is to call you, Billy. Oh, God, Henry, what's going on? What's wrong now? Not a thing, Wilma. Everything's just fine. How are oh, the shots? Bullseye. Perry, don't. Can't you see anything right? Do anything right, huh? Huh? What the, that's what I figured. That's just what I would, I would expect from you. I told you half an hour ago to get at one of those, them kids in the monkey suits and to bring the car around. Oh, I'm sorry. You're such a little kid. I swear to God you are. Where would you be without me to take care of you? I still think you, I think your crate is full of magazines, just plain junk. It's changed, though. Artistic, I'll take that position. And what date is the kind that gives you, you gets you, doesn't it? Yes, it kind of does. Got it. It's kind of heavy. I'll just swing this in. Let's see See, set it down, down over here. I suppose that you didn't open it yourself. Oh, I forget that was for you. Why don't you tell him, Charlie? We're just a great, he's just a great student, and with Professor Tilly being in England, I mean, I figure you are the boss. Hold this on, on it. What made you look under the here? If flip the court of thing and decide it should be, it, I should bluff the second floor hallway. First, at first, I washed this lab windows. Uh, soon, when it came down, I missed it. it uh, I rolled away out uh, here. Yeah. Oh, there it is. I probably would have let it go. Only it was my last quarter for a cake machine. It's not very nice in, in, in here. As it, God, I hate tight spaces. Are you okay, Doc? Yeah. Help me get out of this, will you? I think we might really have something here. What's wrong? I felt like something shifted in here. There. Dad, you thought... Did you feel as if when you set, set it out on the table, it did it, it did feel something under the stairs? My eyes felt heavy. Yeah, but it seems like something's moved on its own. If there isn't anything... If there's anything ever really there were, the living specimens in, in there, I don't... I doubt if they'll be feeling very lively after 147 years. I must be spending too much time on the sun. Let's get this open, shall we? I've got a hammer and chisel in the closet. They'll just ro wait while I go and get them. Turn the lights on. Don't just leave their pots stoking like you did last night. Scrub them and put them away just because you and your intelligent friend are going to play chess. Don't mean we have to leave, leave a mess for you. Wipe the stoves. Yes, Billy. Can he have help? Have, have him on his knees before I get back for my classes. Frankly, that tobacco that he smokes, we, we want. We, uh, makes me want to want it. Yes, Billy. Yes, Billy. Me, yes, Billy. What would you do without me? I don't know, Billy. Well, on that we 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 that we even enjoy your cho chase chess. I bet you were it's worth they're worth something. 
Be my guest, Mike. If you're afraid, there's a problem. Nothing to be. There's a probably nothing in there, but some re- rooks and plants. And all live and turn to dust. They've touched them, but they're pretty and hot to see. But the the same to me. To do the truth as me as I do. As I am, so am I. It's loosening up. I can't see a damn thing. Where did I leave my flashlight? Never mind. Let's just set the full up. Just get the last nail out of here. Did you hear that? There's something in there. Something shiny. Looks like a couple of emeralds, don't it? Hear me. Help me, Doc. It's getting. Help! Professor Stanley, what is it? The janitor. The crate is going to attack me. Professor, slow down. We have to get the compass of security. Professor Stanley, slow down. I don't know what you're talking about. It's the janitor. You know Mike, the janitor? Yes, of course I do. He just sucked him me here in. That's a pretty far out, Professor Stanley. But it's true, I swear it's true. Let's get the campus police. No, the campus security is no good. If I'm having a trouble, there's this. What the f- fuck will they think? I don't know what they will think. They think you've been off on a hell of a torch. You think that we've both been off on a hell of a toot toot. Sorry, you've chosen me, device, devils. Instead of pink like elephants, I think I'll, I'll go down and see how the land lies. No, don't. Don't it, it may be out. I doubt that. Please, Charlie, please, don't go in there. Be right back, Professor Stanley. We'll see it. You'll see the crate. We'll see the blood. You'll see Mike. Then we'll be there, believe me. Charlie, Charlie, you sit there. You see the blood? Do you think I'm crazy now? You think that I killed him? Look at the blood. Look at it. It's gone. What's gone? It, it's got out. I got it. It, I, it got out. It thought it wasn't be pot bound after all these years. But it got out. It pushed the crate off the table. Look at those crates. Tracks. It pu- pu- pushed the crate back in one, under the stairs. Maybe it's failed safe for us so long. Charlie, I really think. Charlie, listen. Don't go in there. If, I, if you had, uh, you had seen that thing, don't worry. It looks like it's been through a hay, had a hot hay baler. Now you do. Now do you believe me, Charlie? Don't do it. Don't go near it. I don't want the trait. I don't want the shoe. I want to measure the bite. Bi- the bite marks. Maybe we can figure out we're dealing with here. We have to stop it. We have to stop it. Two people are dead already. We have to. Dear God, they died. Hey, but back, Dex, hold it. What happened? The people are dead already. And you're dead? What? Where's Wilson? She's gone, Dex. What, what the hell happened to you? Two people are dead. I know, and I could be blamed. I know what a terrible consideration. At time like, of a time like this, Henry, but good God, the last time I saw someone do that was in the movies. It could, it could be my ass, Henry. And it wasn't, and it wasn't me. It was a thing. It was a, that thing in a crate. I don't even know what it was. What two people? Who is dead? Mike the janitor. I know Albert Edson Hall and Charlie Creekson. Gre- He wanted to do to measure the bite marks. I guess he got his chance. He, mo- he most certainly did. I can't do anything for you unless you stop being a, so damn hypocritical. Now, just slow down. Tell me the whole story. Beginning, all right? All right, I think I can do that now. Thank God for you, Henry. I thought some of the ideas of how to get rid of it coming over here. I kept thinking about Riders County. You know the place? I know it. I think it would be deep enough if only there was a way. 
We had to the crate, to get the crate over here. Do you know? I keep thinking about it. I don't know anymore. Am I going crazy, Henry? No. I have to use the facilities. I'll be back in a minute. They'll be, they'll be decide what we need to do. Thanks. What are our friends for? Let's get go. Let's get you another drink. No, no, I had enough. I suppose it's phrase. I not got. I not plastered out of out of, of, of out of my gall. A shock, I guess. Just one more for the both of us. Well, he. While we talk about this over, you need it. We need it, yeah, okay. Henry, god damn it. How many times have I told you to look at the goddamn door? Henry, Henry, Wilma had to leave my, you leave in a hurry because a call from Dexter Stanley. He seems to have gotten himself in a great deal of trouble. I ashamed to tell you all of this, but ever since the day of dying, you're probably in coping with certain things. Being more grad students, you've been able to cover up several incidents, but this one look, looks very serious. It seems we got a young woman to accompany him to Asbury Hall and the false appearances. They attacked her. When Dax called me, he, he was barely coherent. He was dripping with fear and crying, I think. I tried to get him to tell me what happened to the girl, but this was the most part. But for the most part, he kept repeating, It's awful, Henry. It's awful. Mama, could you come out here? I know it's a lot asking a lot, but you always got oh, so clear headed about these things, and you know about how to be firm. I think Dex could use a far, firmer hand than mine right now. Not to mention the girl herself. He said that she had her curled up in a dark place and not c- come out. I'm sorry to have asked you to come. I would ask Ash Emerson Hall to help us out. But as you often, as you so often say, what would I do without you? What would, what, what indeed, Henry? What indeed, Henry? 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 Where are you? The laboratory. Wilma? Downstairs. What are you doing creeping around here, down here? Where is Dex? What kind of man has he got in himself? Mess has he got himself into? He fucking show you, I think. Come on down. What's this? I found them. Do you hear? Beat her? How, how, how bad is she? Is she con- conscious? It's easy if you just see for yourself, Wilma. What are you laughing about? Your best friend gets a scrap with a girl. You're laughing. There's a funny side to it, Wilma. Wait till you see. You think you'll think so yourself. You're hysterical, Henry. Just what I have, what I would have expected. Now I don't think you expect this, Wilma. This is going to be a so entirely new experience. What are you doing? Let me go of me. What did? What's going on? The lab's the other way. The lab again? Yes, but the girl is under the stairs, Billy. Wait till you, you see. That's when it, what's so funny. The girl's crawled under the stairs. She won't come out. She's the owner crawled up there, you know. I like a little baby. Ask rankings, funny sounds. What did he do to her? You got, you can get her out, Billy. I know you can get her out. Why don't you give it a try? You always have it. No know how to handle these things, Billy. No problem, no problem. I know you can get her out. What are you doing, Henry? What are you doing? What I should have done a long time ago. Get in here, Vivian, Wilma. Just tell me to call you Billy, you bitch. Stop it, stop it, Henry. I'll scream, scream all you want. I'll help you wake up. Wake up, whatever you are. Wake up, wake up, dinner time, poison meat. Wake up, wake up, wake up, wake up. That's for, that was great, Henry. That, that, that was just great. You think this is a Friday night? Fright. This is what you think? You want to come see some real punch bag? Same old Henry. Afraid of your own shadow. You know what, Henry? You're a regular barn house, barnyard exhibit. 
Sheep's eyes, gut, chicken guts, piggy friends, the shit for brains. No good for the department police to the dicks. No good for making money. No good at making an impression on anyone. And no good at all to, in bed. When I was the la, when was the last time you got it up, Henry? When was the last time you were a man in uh, your, uh, our bed? Now get out of it, my way, I, I swear, be wearing your balls for earrings, I swear for God, if you can touch, if you ever touch, just fill it, tell it to call it, call you Billy, I don't see anyone, not a soul, at a time of year, no other, the campus is almost totally deserted, summer season is over, a full semester, doesn't talk, doesn't start for two more weeks. It's almost hellish perfect. I never even done even saw a pair of head ever saw headlights. Henry, what do you do with that with crate? That's the beauty of it. Divide the final piece. The jigsaw puzzle is yourself. A great crate is the bottom of Ryder's cry. I drove out there with the remains of the three human beings, well, two human beings of Wilma. I always begin to wonder where did they go? I mean, how much did you, could it eat? I think maybe at the very, very end it began to suspect that what was happening to it. So the question is, what happens now? There's no evidence of foul play. I see to that. There are no bodies. No, no, I don't suppose there are. So what are you, what are you about you, Dexter? What are you going to say? Nothing. Thank you. Thank you, Dexter. No need to thank me. After all, what are friends for? You understand, of course. And I expect to whip your ass at chess. I a week could, twice a week for the rest of your li- our lives. we uh, to see about that, won't we? I haven't done anything to anybody, neither have I. What if I woke up before you got here and called the police? You didn't. What if you get out? What, what if it, it's, what it, if it gets out, Henry? What if it gets out of the crate? If you saw the way I chained it up, you wouldn't worry. A thing was downed on its, in its box. So relax. Just relax, bastards. Oh, damn bugs. I got them bugs. I own this goddamn building. They're not doing, going to be anymore. Damn bugs. Heads are going to roll. I promise you that. Hello. Hey, you, white. No, sir, Mr. Pratt. This is George Jensen. I had just off the plane for Seattle, had my report ready for typing. The building of superintendent is in a vacation. George, you believe that vacation? I told you I wanted to hear from him within an hour. Within the hour, he, he heads at 9. 34 p.m. exactly 26 minutes ago. He can stay on vacation promptly. Bastard, sir, there's a teletot here in the offices from Seattle. I thought you'd want to read to hear it. Will you, well, are you in the offices at 9.10, George? There's no overtime in the, it's at the execute level. Yes, sir, I know that. It's about the Pacific... Aerodrome takeover. The hell the Pacific Aerodrome. They're done for. Northern Kimono is a dinosaur. Look too, you fucking blind to find this way into the nearest tar pit. The air pollution count is up. It's almost seven, George. People are dying of carbon monoxide poisoning and you don't even know it. I found another cockroach. This evening, George, one of those big ones right here in the I in my three three thousand two hundred dollar a month rent house apartment was supposed to be germ free apartment. Would you like to tell me, George, or how employment can can be germ proof when it even not even bug proof? I guess it I guess it can't, Mr Pratt. What I want that's but I want you to know the fur Pratt International now owns a majority of Pacific Aerodrome stock. Of course we do. I can talk to you now, George. I'm going to clear up. 
this cockroach problem once and for all. Yeah, I'm going to have the, any bugs in my building. I love bugs. I realise that. But there's something you should... I've got me to get... Let you go, George. You did well. Get out. You fucking someone that's here is goddamn... Well, but where are goddamn rubber? Remember, you've got days... Damn herpes these days. Sit sir, Norman Kostmeyer shot himself an hour ago. He did it when he came clear. It came, it came, when it came clear. There was no way to stop the takeover, at least that, that was his wife thinks. Wonderful. We don't have to offer her the old fart of seat and bald directors. Now get off the phone, George. Never my well, run good news into the ground. I've got this bug problem. Once you've got bugs, you never get rid of them. They feed in the crawlings, in the contents, the very core of the building itself. George, George. Yes, sir. Day, good night, Mr. Pratt. Once they've been a hold of the building, now uh, you'll never get rid of, rid of them. Bastards, behold, while well, it talk to me, I just called to tell you what a monster you are, Mr. Fright. And now I will join with you, rejoice when you are fairly dead. Lots of people are going to rejoice when I am dead. Who are you? Lee, Lee Moore Gil- Geisemeyer. I am the wife of the man you murdered this afternoon. Mr. Goisemeyer, how are you? I hope you keep keep hell hot for me, you son of a bitch. I hope they do. It wasn't enough for you. It drove me, him to his knees, was it? No, you had to kill him as well. He came home and his, and his eyes, his eyes were so dead. I asked him what he was doing. What could, what we, what could we be so bad? Me, his eyes looked that way. Any word he could say was nay. Where's your name? Ten minutes later, I heard a shot. Yes, George Crandon told me. Old Norman went out with a bang. How many men have, have you destroyed? How many men, many have you killed, my old monster? Only the stupid ones. Only the ones we ha- who handed us as many knife. They stretch, stretched out of their throats. Only ones who, if you pardon the experience, fucked up. If you excuse me, I've got this bug problem, so you have to defer your charming conversation for another time. I hope you die. By the way, I hope you get cancer in the worst place. Syphilis, leprosy, scream is hell forever. You monster, should you mind telling me? Who gave you my private number? I like to fire him. It was my husband. A dress book. It was in my husband. A dress book. You son of a bitch. Well, I can't fire him, can I? I bet you be you, Reynolds. Tell, talk to me. It's Carl Reynolds, sir. I'm t- calling from Orlando, Florida. Orlando, Florida? Life and I decided to take the kids to Disney World this year. I don't care if you decided to take the kids to Antarctica this year. They all all still roaches in this place. I killed one not about five minutes ago. Do you, do your job, Reynolds. I've spoken to Mr. White, who's on who's on the desk tonight. Do you like job, your job, Reynolds? Yes, sir. I'm glad I hear it to hear it because I want to see because I want to see White. Mr. Pratt is almost quarter of ten. But I can't fir- can't first see White. Then and then the is in half an hour. You have to go. No job by midnight tonight. Do you understand me? Next year you'll take the wife and kids to Disney World. Your welfare check will have to... You have... On your welfare check. Have you got that? We better we be good on this. Yes, sir. Good. I trust you. We are. Goodbye. Have to watch them. Catastrophobia. Reynolds. Bugs. That's all they are. All of them. And they're all old. They're essentially brainless. Yeah, just watch them. Because they creep up on you. They creep up on you. Talk to me. Who's there? Good evening there, Mr. Pratt. One bugs again? Huh, oh, Mr. Pratt? Don't you talk to me like that. You're here. What you, way, what way, Mr. Pratt? Like I'm crazy. No, sir, Mr. Pratt. Sir, don't think you're crazy. Not at all. I was just t- trying to think. Who might have full 24 hours fumigating service? I might be able to get Ferroni brothers out here by. Shall we do it, say, 11.30? 
you might go far, right? I didn't notice that. I have noticed that in servicing people, you enjoy it often. Do people do color or pick color? Yes, eleven thirty. We'll be fine. Thanks, Mister Pratt, sir. You're cool. Just them as soon as I've finished. Was that shower on twenty three? Do it as first. Do it now. Yes, sir. Right now. Only stunned. That's that's the explanation. Roaches are very hard to kill. They're quick. They creep up on you. They creep up on you. You let them. You see, Mister Custer, where are you? I grew up in the house kitchen. Bugs everywhere. I know what to do with a bug. I see it, spray it, splash it, kill it. What the fuck? Another man, son of a bitch, blackout. It was, a, it was my power co- company. This would never happen. Goddamn bugs, bastards, fucking roaches, goddamn bugs. I'll kill you, you goddamn little buggers. Come on, what did I pay you for? Play some mercy. It's a short amount of time. Uh, what are you people doing out down here? We got problems tonight, fella. Good. Oh, haven't you looked out there at your window? Listen. This is the ups and This is ups and prat. I've got bugs. Everyone's got bugs tonight. I don't have a time for your bullshit. No, you don't understand. Those are cockroaches. These are cockroaches. The biggest ones I've ever seen. This has to stop. A slow night as this mate could be. Talk about it. This is what right so night. I don't think you understand who you're talking to. This is up some prat up some prat. You got to see to it, you lose your job, you arsehole. White talk to us. White, I know you can hear me. The PA's on the emergency circuit. Talk to me, Mr. Pratt. I'm stuck in the damn elevator. You gotta be got you can't be stuck in the elevator. I want you here now. There are, there are roaches, hundreds of them. They're going to be here until the power comes on. Sorry, I have your job, you black bastard. Come on, come on. You never get in here. Never, never. When this black hole is over, people will pay. Oh, yes, you'll pay too. Every one of you. I've been beating bugs all my life. I beat you too, bastards. Talk to me, Pratt, you old monster. I hope you die, I hope you die, I hope you die, I hope you die. Mr. Pratt, you there? Mr. Pratt, Mr. Pratt, talk to me. Talk to me, talk to me, you honky bastard. What's the matter, Mr. Pratt? Bugs, got your tongue, Mr. Pratt, Mr. Pratt, bastard. Chew your food before you swallow. What's that? It's a, what, it's a comic book. What? It's a comic book, it's a comic book, comic book. My kids love those things. I love them too. Hey, look. You can send away for all this stuff here. Look, it's three glasses. They don't work. That they makes your eyes black. They look, you're looking. It's a gag. Look, an authentic voodoo doll. Somebody sent for it. Yeah, we can't get that. How about this? Tired of getting and kick and kicking, kicked in your face? Where's, where's Billy? You put down. He'll be down in a minute. Be up. He, I know he's up. Billy, Stan, well, are you right? I don't get much sleep. Didn't get much sleep last night, the storm? No. It was his dream. Damn stiff neck. I can barely move my head. You must have strained it. Yeah, I guess. I don't know. You poor bear. Do you want me to get you some Ben Gray? I'll teach you to throw away my comic books. Ready for another shot, Dad? I noticed that you and your job service just people always often do. People call yes, 11.30 will be fine. Thanks, Mr. Brett, sir. I'll call them just a minute as soon as I finish. Well, I shower 23, I'll be... I'll do it first. But do it now. Yes, sir, right now. Are you stunned? What's the explanation? Roaches, very hard to kill. They're quick. They creep on you. They can creep on you. They, but they, 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 they then see Mr. Swiper I grew up in Hell's Kitchen. I've done this bit.
You've been listening to Creep Show. Five Tales of Terror. The first deals of a demented old man returning from the grave to get Father's Day cake his murdering daughter never gave him. The second's about two never do great farmers to win her. It turns everything into plant life. Third is about a vengeful husband burying his wife and his lover up to their necks in the, on the sand beach. Fourth is about a creature that resides eight on the steps of a college. The final story is about an ale to a rich businessman. And gets his come up and full cockroaches. <laughs>